Hey everyone, it's James here from Xamarin. Uh, today I want to show you some new project templates that I have been working on and released. The very first thing you want to do is go to Tools, Extensions, and Updates. And if you already have the templates installed, you'll find them and there should be an update. Else you can go to the Visual Studio Gallery. And just type in Xamarin Templates into here. Let's go ahead and pull up some things. You'll find some Google Glass, my plugin templates. You're going to find the Xamarin Android Templates Pack by me, version 2.0, and you're going to want to install that. Now after you install that, uh, you want to close Visual Studio and reopen it most likely because you'll want the templates to initialize. So I've really worked hard to add app compatibility templates uh, for not only projects but also item templates as well. So the first thing we'll see here is an Android blank app, uh, app compat. So go ahead and create that here. Now what we did here and what I did is I ensured that I wanted to get all of the resources set up for you because that's the tedious part of setting up your styles and your colors automatically. Uh, so instead of having to go find that online every single time, it'll just be done for you here inside of Visual Studio and the project templates. So let's take a, take a look at what I've done here. Under resource, you'll find all of your drawables. I add some default icons for you. I have a few layouts, including the new toolbar, so that'll be themed for you automatically. And then I have all of the values. Now, some of these don't have specific things that you'll need in there, like this drawer width. It's just an example, so you don't need to go create it later. So you can feel free to delete those if you want. But the biggest and most important thing is the styles. So inside of here, I have this theme base, uh, and then I have the actual my theme that gets implemented. And I just do it off of the light, dark action bar with some colors. And I really outline everything that you're, you could possibly use here. And all these colors are being referenced from the colors.xml, which is found under values as well. So feel free to update these. Uh, you can also go to materialpalette.com, which is an amazing website. So if we go here, and what's really cool about Material Palette is it allows you to select just one or two colors, and then it'll give you the colors and the resources that you need. So that's where I've uh, pulled these default colors from. So you can say I want indigo as my main color, and then uh, maybe lime as my secondary color and then it'll actually show you the preview and give you all the colors which is really cool all right let's hop back to the templates so besides that i have some default main activities and base activities here you can read all about those now you will see that some of the support libraries are going to be missing you'll see the little uh, warning under here that's okay don't worry because when you go ahead and build this up it'll actually pull down those and restore those packages for you automatically which is pretty great so this one I wanted to show a little bit of default navigation so I just still have the button click uh, activity but I also have a little click handler to actually start a new intent as well which is kind of nice with all this all built up let's go ahead and just start the application and this will go ahead and deploy over on my Xamarin Android player if you don't know how you uh, remotely connect to your Xamarin Android player. I have a blog post on it, but all you gotta do is run a little ADB command to connect to the IP address, which has now been exposed in the settings property, which is pretty nice, right over here, boom. So here's our default application. I can go ahead and click a few times, click to navigate. This goes to a new page. I have my up arrow here. If I click up, I actually put in some default implementation to go up for you, and we're going back and forth, which is really nice. Perfect. But of course, it gets a little bit better because uh, while that's a nice template, I also wanted to ensure that you could do things like navigation drawer, which if you watch my effective navigation in uh, Android talk from Xamarin Evolve, you'll know that how much I love the navigation drawer. So now you can go file new project and we'll see Android navigation drawer app, app compat. So go ahead and start that up. And what we'll see here is actually a lot more. We'll see some adapters, some activities, some fragments in here for us, some helpers, and a whole lot of resources. So if I zoom in over here, there's a lot of stuff going on. But the nice thing, you don't have to worry about this. You can dive through the drawables and the, the values and all that stuff if you want to. Uh, but again, what we can do here is we can build this up. It'll pull down my NuGet packages for me, and then we can start up this application. All right, well, we're all built up, so let's go ahead and start without debugging. Pull up the Xamarin Android player one more time. Now, a few things that I've also done is I've done some default styling in the actual navigation drawer. So here when you pull this out, it actually has a light uh, light theme to it. 
Uh, and then when you select it, it has this dark gray. I've kind of matched the Google Play services. You can adjust some things. I have the first one always as bold. Uh, you don't have to do that. It's in the adapter. You can change that if you want. But as you see, we kind of change this and we change the titles back and forth uh, to what you want. It'll automatically hide any uh, menu options that you have as well. So let's actually show that off because that's the other templates that I've added. So if you go into menu, which is here, there's nothing in it. When you have the Xamarin Android templates pack installed, you're gonna find a new Xamarin Android section. And this is gonna have all of your menu items that you need. There's a main menu, the first three are if you're not using App Compat. So you're just using standard Android. And then I've added three new ones. So the first one is just a standard menu with one item in it. There's a search menu, a share menu in here. And we can just add that in. Let's add a share menu here. Now we'll go ahead and trust that, trust me. All right, so this is really nice. I automatically set up all of the app compat stuff for you. You'd obviously want to translate your share button, but I also set up the share provider for you automatically. Additionally, what I've done here is I've gone ahead and give you all the code that you need to put in place to actually get this to run. So first thing is make sure that you're doing a using of Android runtime because we're going to do a Java cast. But we're going to come back to our main activity here. And we're just going to go ahead and paste this in. So there's a lot of code in here for the navigation drawer. Don't worry about that. I'm going to post that in there. And I've added the long names in here so it doesn't get confused at all. But in here, it'll automatically reference the name of your menu, uh, find the action share that we have. And this one's going to pop up, time to share some text. So we can go ahead and deploy that again. Of course, you'll get a run, uh, uh, you'll get an error if you're not referencing something. So we can see here, I'm not referencing the intent. So let's go ahead and bring in Android content. Boop. All right, now we're good to go. We brought in our Android runtime, so our Java cast will be available, and we brought in our other stuff as well. So now we can go ahead and run this. Ah, gotta, gotta have that semicolon. There we go, now we have our share button over here. I can go ahead and share something, maybe with messages. There it is, time to share some text. Go ahead and remove that. We can see everything up here is good. And you also have a search one as well, just as well as a normal one. You can even see that I automatically remove all those items when it opens it up as well as optional. The last thing that I did is I've also added a new item and we'll see under here, we'll see Android adapter. So creating adapters for list views and grid views are kind of tedious. So I wanted to get rid of that and add in proper reuse as well. So this one has a little bit more setup, but I've gone ahead and created your adapter, you send in your context, you probably want to send in the items that you're going to display, but I've automatically put in a little bit of the view holder pattern here for you. Your view holder is here on the bottom. You'll want to, you know, figure out what views you're actually going to be reusing, comment in a few more lines of code, and you're good to go. So I hope this is like a nice little walkthrough using the new Xamarin Android templates pack version 2.0. You can grab it on the Visual Studio Gallery under Tools, Extensions and Updates, and just search for it. Thanks and follow me on Twitter at James Montemagno.